Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Agamemnon campaign, where if you remember right, we haven't been doing the greatest due to a guy with one city who has been for some reason spamming chariots out the wazoo and yeah, defeating army after army of ours. It hasn't been going well for us, I will and can admit that. But I like to be hopeful that maybe we can turn this back around. After all, we still have like six settlements to his one. And all we need to do to complete our control over Lower Greece is to destroy him. And then we can move on. I'd really like to think we can move on. Now... I'm sure some people are like, why haven't I sued for peace yet, since this dude is clearly outmatching me. It's a pride thing at this point. We will not be suing for peace. We will be going until one of us are dead. Me or him. Him or me. I'd like to think I can overcome this. I'd like to think you guys want me to overcome this. But I don't really know. For all I know, you're all rooting for me to get absolutely curb stomped destroyed and have to start a new campaign where hopefully I will make better decisions and not pick on the lone dude in the corner of the map with one settlement because apparently he's in the corner of the map with one settlement for a reason and it's because you do not mess with him y you just don't they, they did give Agamemnon a cool shield here he has his little scepter. He he died, though. Yeah, we, we got him killed. But his brother, Menelaus, yeah, we got him killed. What about our, you know, friendly Crimson? Crimson, Scorpion of Hades, we got killed. What about Crimson Reborn? We got him killed, too. But Crimson the Third. I have a lot of high hopes for him. I think he's going places. Da, 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 We just need to stop his chariot spam. The chariot spam along with, like, an absurd amount of archers really is our, you know, Achilles here, here. As you can see, he's over here. Mocking us, as always. Um, he has That's this army here. Only two chariots in it. We did just defend refuse. Altus. Well, I think we lost the battle there. But he only, like, sacked it. And then ran off. Not but this shot. army here, we've almost got rid of all the chariots. That being said, I think it's clear... That he's going to come right back with both these armies and attack us and destroy us horribly. It, it's not good for us. It's not good at all. And yeah. Uh, we have this here that we're trying to form into an army. Um, yep, we have another army down here that we're just trying to get up. So as you can see, we're trying to be able to fight back. It's just not going so well for us at the moment. Sparta is still our capital of recruitment. Ooh. Yay! More recruitment. When do I, where do I get chariots at? Do I get chariots here? I do get chariots here. Woohoo! We'll be able to fight chariots with chariots in six turns. Okay, though, so, uh, not as exciting as I was actually thinking at first, but it's all good. Uh, what, what you do with Odysseus? Odysseus? Uh, I, I don't like that. I can't really afford for Odysseus to start attacking us there. If he starts attacking us, that's going to leave us in a really bad position. You want non-aggression pact. And you offer nothing. But you want me to give up 5,000 stone. Yeah, we're going to go with no on that. Do I need diplomatic friends? 
Very much so. That being said, do we really care about getting them? No. Okay, so this is our guy up in the mountains here. Um, we could probably kill this chariot with the slingers. Uh, we have no chance of actually winning the battle. That being said, taking out those two chariots might be worth it. Uh, these are all javelin men that will be throwing range. Our young spears won't be able to do crap there. We could have retreated. But either way, it would end our recruitment. And if our recruitment's going to be ended anyways, I feel like I'd rather just hit him with a little bit more damage. We just need to buy time for that army down in Sparta to get to full strength. If we can get that to full strength, we can march on his capital. Which by then, he'll probably have another 40 chariots in. I'm, I'm not going to lie there. That might be rough for us, but it's all good. It's all good. We got this. I, I, the only reason I'm having issues is because obviously I got too used to Total War Warhammer 3 and casting my spells down. Uh, actually, that's not it. I love Total War uh, historical titles. Uh, this one's really fun. I, I'm having a blast. But the chariots with the archers are a really strong combination this early in the game. Because I have nothing that can really move fast to go after his archers. And I can't really move up without his chariots decimating me. So, yeah, it's just a strong thing he has going on for him at the moment. But it's all good. Uh, we'll have our leader kind of back in these trees. We'll have these spearmen here. These spearmen here. Uh, stance hold. Stance hold. And... Take that dumb skirmish mode off. Uh, I don't know how many of you remember, but a video back or two videos back, that pretty much cost us a lot of damage that we should have been able to do, all because it's like, hey, guess what? Oh, what? Oh, we're going to just randomly start running about breaking all formations. It, it really wasn't good for us. Yeah, we're going to have him move up just a slight bit there. And then hold. Fast forward a little bit. Okay. I mean, till the chariots get into, like, where we can actually snipe them from, we will just go for these archers. Yeah. Like, if it's not going to give us the chariots at the moment, we will try to destroy the archers here, because why the hell would we not? The archers are a very important part of this army of his. Because the skirmishers are good. Their main issue is actually the problem of... They have a range of 100, so they'll probably get one or two volleys off. The volleys will be devastating, but once we get to them, it's not as good. And they don't have as much ammunition as, like, the bowmen to just stand back the entire time and fight. Uh, yeah, his chariots still are in here. We should be routing these bowmen soon, though. Uh, our slingers still have about 16 volleys, which is good. I think we've done a little bit of damage to this guy here. Okay, there we are. So we routed that. Changed the target to the chariots. I need these two chariots down. Because a lot of times it's actually having it go to the last man. Okay, one chariot left. Beautiful. Come on. I need to get that other one. Come on. Come on. Kill it. Kill that last chariot. Come on. Kill it. I need that last chariot killed. Because it has been having it where they, you know, if they have one man left, it will let them come back. 
Okay, I think I got that chariot. Beautiful. Uh, where did his other chariot go? That does have me a little worried, not gonna lie. So most of the damage we're taking here, I think, is not actually from him. It's from these javelin men. So if we can get into there and attack them, that should help us out quite a bit. Oh, there's the other chariots back. Uh, let's change to a direct shot. Yeah, see, we're messing up this javelin man. Of course, the moment the slingers get into position to actually hit him pretty hard, like, yeah, we're going to run away. Not what we needed at all. Slingers, you want to come back, please? So, yeah, we're about to break these javelin men. We'll go ahead and hit these ones. Name of the game at this point is just dealing as much damage as we can. There's not much else we can really do. We can watch my general get completely overran and die here. Uh -huh. But yeah, I mean, we lost like we knew we would. But we did inflict some casualties and we should have got rid of one of the chariot units. So uh, We dealt some good damage to his bowmen. That will hurt him in future fights. One of his javelin men got decent damage on. And we took out one of the chariots. I would say that's worth it for what we had going on here. D look at it this way. We have more food for the rest of the armies now, right? If we could have got those other, I think it was three slingers I was recruiting, we would have been able to probably decimate him. Or at least do a lot better. Because the bowmen with... One well, that would have been like four slingers. Would have absolutely got wrecked very quickly. He would have had to move up. And then we would have been able to take out both chariots. Probably in a couple of volleys. And then move on to the skirmishers. So we still might have lost. But we would have been able to mess up the army by a lot more. As it is. I will accept quite a bit of damage. And losing a chariot. I mean, the only way we're going to turn the tides of this war is pretty much taking these losses, but in taking the losses, freaking uh, hurting him. Don't know why <laughs> we're having so much issue with this uh, war. So, after we finally defeat this dude, we are restructuring our military, getting at least two top tier armies. I don't care if I have to sell all our stone to afford the food. We will manage to get two really good armies before we go to our next battle site. Because I still want to take all of Greece first. That is the goal, is to take all of Greece, okay? Eventually, would I like to touch, you know, stone down in Egypt? Yeah, I'd like to go take some of Egypt. But first things first, we need to conquer Greece. It will be sad that Agamemnon will not even be close to alive by then. But that's what needs to happen. And we will do that. One way or another. Okay. Well, since I didn't retreat, that army might not be like fully dead. It might move back some. Let's see. They want... 346 stone for 9 turns and in return they'll give me 696 food for 9 turns okay I will actually accept that little bit of stone but a decent amount of food which we'll need which like I said I will trade every last stone we have if need be when we finally get this into fruition to get us some good armies going. Mm. 
Yeah, Odysseus is pretty far away from home because here's his settlement. Uh, does he have more maybe over there? Let's see. Diplomacy. Here we are. Does tell me how many settlements he has. Uh, he only has two. So yeah, he's just far away from home for apparently no reason, really. Okay. <laughs> so he has this seven army see. here. And this I'm one's already building up. Uh, our garrison's actually starting to form back up there, which Life is nice. Good enough. We will move March, them here glory. and then Serve start to recruit question. those slingers that we wanted. Could we still need them? Down here. I mean, it is what it is. It's going to take four turns to get that army fully moving, which is unfortunate. What is it giving us an extra recruitment slot here? What is that? Uh, siege holdout time provides garrison. No food recruitment. Well, I mean, wouldn't hurt to get more food recruitment, but we will go ahead and do that building. But food upkeep, uh, workforce. Nope. Let's uh, see this. No, that's gold, food, stone. Happiness, uh, Royal Fishery, Bronze, maybe? Uh, no. Da -da. Okay, maybe it's an outpost thing. What are my outposts? Upkeep, allows an army to exchange units, the highest ranked unit of the fort, no. Interacting, influence, no. Siege hold up time, army game, no. This? Production all resources, no. Uh, favor. Army games are perfect. Favor. Okay, so I got no idea, really. <laughs> I am completely lost as to why we're getting three recruitment here and two here. I'm sure there's an actual reason that makes sense. I just don't know it. Okay, so we have that going, obviously. Uh, we do want to get up to this one. We just need four idle workforce. So yeah, we'll start saving up some to get that. Um, this guy. So over here, I don't Fighting think we can Ares. recruit anything. Yeah, because it's on the two. That's unfortunate. That being said, outpost, I have this one, we'll repair that, and provides garrison, what's this, chance for a random unit to join, plus 30%, outpost garrison, replenishment, food upkeep, plus 75, um, that actually might not be the worst, yeah, we'll go with that. Freaking, <laughs> yeah, Pylos here, man. But they're rough. They're really sticking it to us. This army, I think, if he was to take uh, attack Altus right now. Let's see. Ah, that's not very much help for us. Yeah, that we do have the full strength there, so we might be able to take it, but it'd be very iffy thing let's see what happens over the end turn da, 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 da. okay pylos is going back up there oh he was able to reach me too okay this time we'll retreat there's yeah he has two armies now which is unfortunate for us uh, is that the... I think that's three armies, actually, because that doesn't seem like it'd be his one he was recruiting down here. Yeah, see. That will never work. So, Not we knew we had shot. another army that we had destroyed quite a bit of. 
seems like Don't it's this one here. Uh, can't do any he recruitment there. He's pretty much just trying to keep me from being able to that recruit. That seems to be his big I'm thing with this army. Battle. Just stopping recruitment. Which isn't the worst idea, but... Okay, so now it's just the archers we're waiting on. We got heavy uh, shielded spearmen, which should be beautiful for us. Uh, I'm actually going to do that. We we're going to walk around. And then we can pick you back up the archers that now. we need. Yeah. Move slightly closer. Uh, worst case scenario, this should hopefully kind of draw his attention down this way, giving us a chance to get some recruitment here, even if it's just slingers to get into our settlements to defend. His three armies, depending on what that third one he's recruiting is, might be very bad for us. There won't be much we can really do if that third army is once again... Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Yep, there it is. See? Chariots, chariots, chariots. Uh, okay. So we have three slingers, but we don't actually have any archers at the moment. That's the big loss there. But we do have a crap ton of heavy shielded spearmen. Which should be able to hopefully hold out again some of his chariots here. All three slingers should be able to take down his archers. Uh, you know what? I will say this will be our last thing for tonight is seeing if we can do this. Of course, it's giving him the victory, but I think with well use of our slingers, we might be able to pull this off. Because the chariots, like I said, we should be able to take out the chariots or at least hold them off with our heavy spearmen. It should also make it where he can't really move up too fast with his generals. So yeah, we'll see. The slingers should be able to take out, I think it's four units of bowmen you have. We should have enough ammunition to take out all of them, especially since some of them are pretty damaged. Now, I don't think we'll have enough to take out the skirmishers, which is where the big issue is going to come from. It, The javelin men and the generals, because the chariots we should be able to hold against with the heavy spearmen. That's why we specifically went with heavy spearmen. So I think we should be able to hold out against the chariots, but I don't know about the rest. Winning this battle will do a lot for us, though. Ah, trees, really? Dang it. Okay. So, once again, don't like the white line. We've, we've already talked about this. But what I do like is these rocks here. That would make a natural thing. So if we could, like, form a... Line right through here, that would actually make me happy. Uh, could the chariots come in behind us? Unfortunately, yes. But we're going to have to go with it. Okay, so. We're going to move up here to try and do this as our line. What the hell? Oh, come on. Dang it, skirmish mode. And I can't get them off it. Come on. Okay, skirmish mode off. Take out those bowmen. Okay, you come over here guard mode. Take out the bowmen there. Yeah, this sucks for us right now. Not gonna lie. Fall back. 
Come on. We should be able to take out these bowmen a little bit faster, I'd like to think. Okay, there it is. The bowmen are gone. Are you, the young spears are holding up about as well as you'd think young spears would hold up. Yeah, we lost that. There wasn't really much we could do about that. <laughs> the fact that they all just came in behind us was exceptionally bad. And now they got to our slingers, which is even worse. Man, that placement for his reinforcements to come in was just... Yeah. I love how all of them were on the map in front of us. And then it's like, eh, yeah, no, we're just going to go ahead and let him come in right behind you because that will be most beneficial for him. And you know what? They weren't wrong. That was very beneficial. Okay. So... The unfortunate part is I see no way to actually protect the slingers and get them out of here, which is what we need most. We are nothing without these slingers. So he's used a lot of the javelin men. So we're going to try and retreat at least some of these slingers. Get these guys over here. guys get back slingers both of the bowmen are almost out of ammo over here so it almost feels like a waste to you no know, shoot at them if that's the case though yeah we'll, we'll shoot at these guys instead Slingers. Okay. As far as this side goes, these guys are holding on for us. That's good. Come on. Hold. He's having to send the bowmen in on this side, which is beautiful. He's sending in bowmen on this side, which we should be able to easily outdo. Now the only problem is we are getting wrecked over here. These are almost out of ammo. This is the one with the most ammo, so we'll focus fire them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're losing too much here. Yeah, we've lost this battle, unfortunately. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, these guys are holding well, though. I mean, the ones on this side got totally wrecked by the javelin men. So their big thing is their missile damage is like armor piercing. So, yeah. We lost a lot there. Uh, let's go with direct shot on these. I really didn't need these guys to flee. Kind of, uh, you know, whole thing we need is these slingers. Come on. Ah, there's that little hill there, which is causing the problem. Yeah, the hill's causing the problem for our direct shot, unfortunately. They're about to lose all their ammo. No slingers routed. I'm honestly surprised we haven't killed more of the bowmen. 
I feel like our sh heavy shielded spearmen, I know they're not the best attackers, should have dealt a little bit more damage. Okay. See, we could rematch it and then position in a different place where they're not coming right into us. But we're not going to do that. Um, loss is 38, loss is 258, loss is 74. So, yeah, we lost way more than him. That's only to be expected. But this middle army here, we actually did do about half damage to, so that's nice. Uh, say the middle army is the one he just recruited to. The first army we barely did horse uh, crap to. Middle army, like I said, uh, we took about half, so that's good. Last army, once again, not too good, but our guy should retreat back. They could attack again, but if we don't get screwed, we might actually win that battle. Because it sucks that two of our their slingers here at the end routed really quick. But that also means they're still in pretty good shape. Which could actually help us. Same thing with some of the heavy spearmen here. If you look, their health is still decent. Biggest problem is we didn't get to do much damage to any of the javelin men. Which, unfortunately, do, as you saw, did a crap ton of damage to our heavy spearmen. <laughs> um, one of his archer units, I know, is pretty messed up, though. We did a good job of that. So we at least have that going for us. Yes, depending on his movement, he might instantly try to attack again with all three armies. Which, like I said, could be in our favor or might not be. Um, I think it puts us at... Okay, so let's see. Uh, this archer only has three units left in it, so that one's nice and hurt. Uh... As far as his middle army, almost all his chariots are in really rough condition, which is good for us. And three out of his four javelin men are actually in pretty rough condition too. So, yeah. Overall, not what we wanted. But, I'd say still manageable for us to actually do some. What the hell is this down here? A rebellion? Why the hell is there a rebellion all of a sudden? Is that just to add extra, <laughs> like, crap to me? I think these two are in stance march. I have always feared the nature of the deep. Uh, let's see, trade your court action for 50 gold. I'll refuse on this one. Not a chance. Okay, so yeah, both of those are getting to reinforce him, which is unfortunate. That being said, I'll have to refuse. these two can't That's really retreat. This one could. That will never work. Uh, yeah, that this will isn't never good work. for us here, but I think it might be manageable. To victory. Okay, <laughs> and he's already recruiting another army over here. Of course he is. We all must earn our place. That being said, we are finally getting a recruit with this one. We'll get three more slingers. As far as this goes, we might actually recruit some of these units since, you know, <laughs> it's not like we're going to be really recruiting with this one at the moment. But we might. So I think our best bet here is to bring this up, try to attack, wipe out these three armies. He has this one going, which is unfortunate. 
But if we can get this one full of slingers, bring it down, just, no. Range the hell out of him. Try to recruit this one, get it back up to somewhat strength. And then attack Pylos. I think we're in a pretty good spot. This rebel army, I, I might just not have time to mess with it. We might just have to let it attack Sparta. But Sparta does have a pretty good garrison. So it might be able to hold off on its own. I think that's going to be the plan we go with. And we will follow that up next time. Uh, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this. I know I am. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good week. Have a blast. Hope you guys had a great Labor Day. But yeah, see you guys.